Warcry, the Slaves to Darkness, the brand new Necromunda box with a release date. And is that my fist on I see back there? Sponge Murphy here, I'm back again with the latest Warhammer news. And the news that is going to start us off this week is the brand new Warcry models. Two new monster models to be more exact. The first edition is the Ogride Myrmidon. Myrmidon? Warmidon? I don't know how to pronounce this. These words get harder and harder every week. But this hulking guy is going to add some muscle to your warband. Whereas the other edition, the Mind Sealer Sphernax, is a little more subtle and relies on its more hypnotic powers rather than just pure strength. It says that both these monsters can join any warband and a release date is set for 2020. But the good news is when these guys do finally come out, they will have their own points and war scrolls for the Slave to Darkness army. Speaking of Slaves to Darkness, the army is finally getting a revamp. A new battle tome has been announced and the good news is they're getting a brand new start collecting box. And even better again, the box will consist of all brand new models. The Chaos Warriors have been changed from static pose barbarian men to more dynamic pose barbarian men. Personally, the Warriors of Chaos badly needed new models to separate them from the rank and file look of the old Warhammer Fantasy world. Also in the box are the new Chaos Knights that look great and they also have a monster mounted Chaos Lord model. The Lord looks fantastic and it reminds me of the Chaos Lord on Juggernaut but I think I just prefer this new one just a little bit. Necromunda time now and I recently talked about the box that's going to be coming out called Dark Uprising and the good news is it is finally going to be up for pre-order this weekend. That is the 9th of November, Saturday. This box comes with two gangs, the Corpse Grinder Cultists that have 15 models and the Palanite Enforcers that have 11 models. Also in this box you will get 17 sprues worth of terrain, the rulebook and all the necessary stuff you will need to play the game. And also up for pre-order this week as well as the Necromunda Floor Tile set. Scenic bases that come in 25, 32 and 40 millimeter base sizes and as well as some brand new Necromunda dice. And finally we come to the new Mephisto model. Now GW have released a teaser video showing parts of the model and I set the release date for November 30th. I'd imagine that we're going to be see some of the images later on this week or maybe even next week. And again, this is another new model that badly needed a new update. Now it doesn't say it is Mephisto but all the kind of wording is there. You can see by parts of the model that they do show it's clearly him it's going to be a good time for the blood angels fans mephiston a new mephiston model is finally coming out so that's it for this week's warhammer news let me know what you guys think will you be picking up the new necromunda box are you going to be waiting for the new slaves to darkness box i think they're awesome it's, i'm so happy to see warriors of chaos get some new models just to, just to separate them a little bit from the rank and file look of the old ones and get these new more dynamic pause ones out it's really good so uh, let me know what you guys think. Are you excited for that? Let me know in the comment section. Hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't. And once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next video.